And another good one for Vanderkamp. That's his second tonight inside the 20. And it's spinning in a spiral. Somehow or other, for it to nose down and just die like that is an amazing talent. A lot of people see it as you just throw the ball out there and you swing your leg as hard as you can and there goes the ball. But getting that spiral, it's hard and you have to know the wind. You have to know where you are on the field. And it's all about technical. And every day before practice, the first thing I do is work on drops because 75% of your ball is going to be on your drop. If it turns inside or it's a little outside, you're going to have problems swinging your leg through true, true to your target line. I've used the word since he was a freshman. He's just that he has that kind of maturity. He's very cerebral about his approach to, to, to punting. He knows what he's doing with every ball, and he's, and he's a great self-corrector when, when something's off. It's been a real joy. I, I, I get the opportunity to work with the specialist. It's been a real joy to work from him and learn from him over the past four years. I watch film every day. I watch every kick that I have, and I just got to break down film and see where I went wrong, and it's just little variables that can throw me off throughout the day. And when it comes game time, you just have to have know that your body knows what to do and subconsciously just let it do its thing and relax. And you have one or two things that you truly think about. And, you know, mine just keep my head down and take small steps. And if I think about those two things, then uh, I'll usually have a good punt. For the Australian or rugby style, it's uh, during pooch situations. And, you know, you hope your coverage team gets down there. You try to get enough hang time to give them a chance to get down there. But if you hit a bomb and it lands on the 10 and then rolls in, you just have to shake that off and move on to your next one because you know you, you couldn't have done anything about that. Into the wind, the rugby style dies really fast because it doesn't have that spiral, so it doesn't cut through the wind. So if I got a lot of wind in my face, I might just hit a true ball, and the, the wind will just bring it straight down inside that 10-yard line. And if I have the wind at my back, I can just put a nice high uh, rugby style, and the wind will carry it. No, I don't like to be out on the field either because that means we're giving the ball back to the other team. But every time we're on a third down, I have to be ready for my opportunity and I prepare myself and know what the situation is. And I may only get six chances to be on the field and I gotta take advantage of those limited uh, opportunities. I, I don't uh, uh, hide behind the fact that I think he's the best punter in college football and I'm glad he's ours.